Hey, Coach. Uh, I just want to kind of build off the last video. We talked about uh, the meta game and we're going to play. Are you thinking long term? Are you thinking solid? And how to keep defenses off balance? You know, a lot of times the stuff, you know, at least for us, we're just trying to win the game that we're playing next. Okay. And so there's a, you know, in the last video, we used a poker analogy. So I'm going to go back to that. Um, I like poker. I'm terrible at it, but, uh, but there's some, there's some, it's, for strategies, I think there's some parallels, you know, uh, they talk in poker, they talk about table image and it's not so much. What kind of player are you? It's what kind of reputation do you have in that game at that time? What's your image? You know, you might be a guy that has just been getting a bunch of hands. And so now your image, they're all scared of you. So now you can bluff a little bit and they're going to respect that. If you're a guy, you haven't gotten anything and you have like a weak image, you're not going to usually be able to bluff successfully. If you're going to come strong, you better have a hand to back it up. So, so when you're playing poker, they always want you to kind of uh, consider what is my table image right now and what's the best way to uh, to take advantage of that. And that's what one, another thing I like about poker strategy, too, is because it's not it's almost like Rochambeau. It's not what's the best strategy. It's what, you know, this strategy is good. It can beat this, but it can lose to that. And but the, this other strategy, there's always a counter to everything and there's always matchups. OK, so. Uh, in football, when as it pertains to a football game plan, a lot of times you got to be sitting there thinking, okay, well, what games do we have on film? What games, you know, you know, they maybe they they put a lot of you just know that they're going to put a lot of stock into one matchup, or you know, what games do they have on film, and what kind of team are we in those games, and then attack them a different way. You know, how are they going to play us, and then be able to play off of that. OK, so they might think that we're a team that wants to do a bunch of different formations. We're just going to line up in our best stuff and pound you. You might be a team that just shows that we just want to line up in, our, in, in one formation and pound you. Then we're going to keep you off balance with a few different formations and keep them and keep them off balance. And then maybe get back in our best stuff and pound them. You know, if it's a game where. If it's a game where you feel like you're going to have to pound a rock to win the game, you might come out. And uh, if you've gotten our program, you get to come out in king formation, which is basically just uh, 20 personnel. We got two backs, got three receivers. We might show that off the bat to kind of keep it into their mind that, OK, these guys are going to be a little, little bit multiple. But in the back of our mind, we know we're just, we want to pound you. We, we got to pound you to win. OK, the problem with, you know, they say going to the well, one, you know, one too many times. There is something to that. I mean, if, if all you do is your base play, and I know when I got into this thing, it's all I wanted to do was come up with the, the unstoppable play and beat them every time. And, you know, that, and there's something to that, but you have to kind of pick your spots. You know, you can't be like that 100% of the time. I mean, you might be able to be like that 75% of the time, but you can't be like that 100% of the time. You have to be able to kind of either use it to set something else up or use other stuff to set up your base stuff. OK, and just keep them off balance like that. It doesn't have to be like, you know, when I say keep them off balance, I mean, just a little bit. It's just a little dabble, do you? You know, and so so when you're, when you're going into a game, when you're going into a week, and you're preparing for the for the team and you got to figure, OK, what's my table image right now? How do they see me as what kind of team do they see us as right now? OK, it doesn't matter what your long term reputation is, whatever. How are we playing right now? What are they looking at on film? You know, uh, you know, maybe they visited a game or something like that. They might, they might be just get into their head. What are they thinking? Okay. And uh, could be based off of this big game you just had. So they're going to, they're going to uh, game plan for that. Could be, you know, whether you in your area, you trade two films the past two games or the past three games, or they got all your games, just kind of get into their head. How do they see you and play off of that? Okay. In the previous video, I talked about three different ways we use our base play. It's always kind of good going into the game to uh, to understand how they see you and be prepared for a counterattack on that. And you don't have to get off of what you do. You're still doing what you do, but uh, but just keep them off balance just a little bit, just a little bit. So, uh, you know, a little dabble do you, coach. I hope that helps, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.